What's poppin' me, gente? Guess who's back with another video? Now, much like your humble narrator here, myself, this video is gonna be short, sweet, and to the motherfucking point. <laughs> it's actually not a video so much of an announcement, I should call it. First announcement I'm gonna make. The Facebook page is just for Castlevania fans who like this project and want to be able to see quickly when updates come out and maybe aren't in the forums can see that and communicate with each other. It's not for asking me questions. The only people whose questions I'm going to answer are people who are on my team or Patreon supporters. PayPal supporters as well, you know, but PayPal supporters already know how to reach me because we've communicated one or two times. Um, if you haven't, by all means, go ahead and go to my Patreon page. You'll find an email address that's sotnhacked at gmail.com and write me. I'll need to verify your identity as in how much you donated, what date, you know, what the email address was with the donation, but, you know, that's how you can ask me your questions. Patreon supporters, keep it to Patreon because I do not answer questions on Facebook. If you're writing me on Facebook with tons of questions, you are wasting your motherfucking time. I've now repeated it. I won't be repeating it again. That's all there is to that. The forums are pretty much for the same thing for like-minded Castlevania fans to communicate with each other who aren't comfortable with Facebook. Um, but they're also for me to put up any help wanted ads or questions on lore or anything I need to elaborate on concept-wise. So, if you are a person who wants to do sprite work or sound work or music work um, or concept work, the forums are where you want to check. I will be announcing help wanted positions on Patreon routinely as well, but I don't want to beat my Patreon supporters over the head with that. It really, I know how aggravating that is. If you look at a video, you get excited thinking it's an update, and all this is me saying, oh, I need this person, this type of person to do this for me, or this type of person to do that. It's just disappointing. So I try to keep the help wanted positions on the forums, Facebook pages, again, just for people who don't want to use forums. I do brief announcements when Patreon posts go up or little information I want to share here or there, and that's all there is to them. Same deal on the forums. If you're writing me questions, you're not going to get an answer. Unless it's related to something like a help wanted ad or something that we're discussing, you know, where I have already acknowledged you as a potential contributor. But if you're just writing me on there to ask questions about the project, you're not going to get an answer. Become a Patreon supporter. Which brings me to the big subject I have for today. Which would be the development videos I've been putting up recently. And those range from 20 minutes to earlier in the year I did one for about 45 minutes showing me off assembling some of the Wolf Forms animations. Those videos going forward are going to be for Patreon supporters only. And that's all there is to it. If you want to see those videos, subscribe to my Patreon page. The reason behind those videos is in essence because of the Patreon supporters. For those who saw this project before I had a Patreon page up, you'll note that my updates were few and far between. Maybe once a month, maybe once every two months, whenever I had something I wanted to share. And they were usually just a wall of text saying stuff that I've gotten done and describing what I want to do with an occasional picture or GIF, and that was it. It was very rare to get a video from me. I might have done a video maybe once or twice a year. That's a more recent thing. But the fact is I'm doing them now because I feel like the people who donate funds to this project should be able to see where their funds are going. And it's that simple. It's why I set up the Patreon page, to get in donations. But at the same time, I want to give back to those people giving me those donations. And I feel like those people, anybody who contributes $5 and up, should really be able to see where those funds are going. And there's no reason anybody who lives in a developed country can't give $5 a month. I mean, $5 a month is not even 17 cents a day. If you're living in a third world country or desperate for cash, barely able to feed yourself or take care of your kids, different story. But if that's the case, I highly doubt those people are worried about my silly little project. If you're that one in a million person who isn't a really bad scenario and seeing my project brings you happiness, I'm happy to see that. Glad I could bring a little light into your life. And I say that because I grew up in a pretty hard environment when I was younger. So I understand how it is to be absolutely, totally, miserably fucking broke. But nonetheless, I still... The, the point is still the same. The people who donate to the project should be the ones that get to see these progress videos, should get all the extra fluff, especially considering that these videos take up a decent amount of time to make. Now, things like the let's talk about it videos, which I haven't made one in a little bit, but I still intend to do, or little videos asking for community or fan input, or maybe even a very small update that's a couple of paragraphs long of text with an image like I used to do, those I still intend to make public. Things like I've put up a couple of new images for character art that I've kept only to Patreon supporters that I know I can trust. 
and a couple of new animations and sprite sheets that, again, kept only the Patreon supporters because I know I can trust them. Those will stay the same. So the bottom line is if you want to start seeing these in-depth detailed videos that are 30, 40 minutes long, or you want to start seeing the Unity tutorials I make which are directly related to that because I usually talk about why I do things the way I do, you need to become a Patreon supporter because going forward, those will not be public. It'll be extremely rare to see one become public. Now, six months down the year after I put up one of those videos, maybe I'll start making those public because it's six months to a year down the line, but that's a long fucking wait there. Also, something I want to talk about because people have been asking about it for a while. Releases. I wanted to release something six months ago. I won't go into what happened on my team, but I basically had somebody jumped off the team with no warning whatsoever and was pivotal to it. Um, it was a very selfish move on that person's part, and it totally threw everything off for me. The other problem is I had another person who was doing concept art for me and was doing very good. But that person had a lot of technical issues and kept having delay after delay after delay after delay until I had to just fire the person. They just weren't producing. They had some of the best ideas I've ever seen. Very creative, very detailed, skilled artist. Just wasn't able to produce and I had to let him go and that really helped me up. So bottom line is I'm not blaming them. I am 100% at fault and I take accountability for it. So I want to apologize to everybody for that. I am in the process of coding stuff for Classic Richter now because the intention is to put something out pretty simple where you can use Legacy Richter to fight Dracula. Where you can go through the prologue stage, you know, as you did in the Classic game, and fight Dracula. I also want to start pulling out alpha releases very soon, but those are going to be for, again, Patreon supporters only because I feel like they're the ones who should get to test things first. And then several months down the line, maybe I'll make one or two of those public as it develops more. And when I say I want to put out alpha demos, I am planning on putting out alpha demos to the Patreon supporters that have limited access to some things, while my highest level contributors, I would like to give them another type of alpha that maybe has a little, a few extra things that the regular one doesn't. Things that are maybe still WIP or heavy in testing that they can see before everyone else because they're contributing more. Right now, at the moment, the only gold member I have is Hosani, but he has been a contributor for several months, and he has made a massive difference here. I also have several contributors, though, who have been black bag members or maybe downgraded themselves to blue bag or red bag, but contributed a total of $200, $300, and are still Patreon supporters. And I feel like that should be taken into account. If a person is a Patreon supporter and has contributed two or $300 in the past, $400, etc., they really should get that extra little fee that extra little demo too because they've contributed seven hundred dollars to this project they deserve a thank you even if they can't still afford to give as much the fact that they did contribute that much says something obviously i'm not a fool you know if i you know if i'm sending people extra items you know and you know they're no longer contributing well then that stops you know which again though i don't want to turn this into a thing about you know, money, because I've said this at the beginning, money is not my big focus here. I just want enough funds to get this done, get it done right. But spriting in particular is expensive. I've seen sprite artists easily get $40 an hour and up. Um, it takes a while to sprite something. Even something as simple as an idle animation of the quality level that this game has can easily take a person five, six hours. I mean, that's a lot of money right there. I mean, if they were getting 40 an hour, you're talking at six hours, 240 bucks gone. That leaves $300. I mean, obviously I can't afford to pay that much. So thankfully the artists I've run into so far have been very generous with me, very understanding and understand that this is an amateur project. So they're working for amateur rates. But the bottom line is if I can get this number up to a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, even something crazy like that. Imagine how much I can get done and how fast it would be. Especially now that I'm unemployed, I have to find other ways to bring in money, and that also takes time away from stuff that I could be doing for the project. So, that's all I had to say about that. I just wanted to briefly talk about releases, because I know a lot of people have been asking, and as I said, I don't respond to people who ask questions about the project on Facebook or on the forums, unless it's something that specifically we're discussing already, because I ask for help with it, and definitely not on YouTube, no. If you want to get your questions answered, join my Patreon, but I felt like this could be a good blanket way of addressing all of you, my Patreon supporters, as well as my PayPal supporters, and even the people on my team about these things. You know, again, I appreciate everybody's contributions, and I want to make sure that you guys get to see videos and updates that show you, hey, you're not contributing to nothing here, that this isn't going to amount to dust on the wind, 
that you're not just throwing cash at a guy who isn't going to produce a motherfucking thing. Especially when I see how many fan games never go anywhere. I can look on YouTube right now and find multitudes of fan games for Castlevania, Mega Man X, just about any game you could name out there that were coming off the ground and looked amazing and the person worked on them for three months and disappeared. Or worse, they completed most of the game and then said, you know what? I just don't feel like it anymore. Here's the source code. Finish it yourself. And of course, that never happened. Just things that had so much potential that never went anywhere. Obviously, that's not the case with me here because I've been working on this a long time. And it's just something that's become part of my normal life. I couldn't see not having it in my life. And I have a lot of plans for it. But again, I want you guys to see this for yourself. Seeing is believing. We're just hearing me run my mouth here. Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to get back to coding Richter because I'm trying to get in all of his horizontal movement, button input, stuff like that, so that hopefully the next couple of days I can put up a Patreon-only update vid showing that off. So with that, I'm going to get back to what I'm doing. You know, thank you all for the support again. Become a Patreon supporter right now. $5 and up, guys. If you're not, you know, if you want to see all this stuff going forward, otherwise you won't. I mean, it's 17 cents a day, guys. Come on. Let's make this happen here. I'll talk to you all soon, though. I think I've run my mouth long enough, so deuces.